my name is susil singh and today i am going to tell you about the functions basically what are the functions a function is a predefined formula which calculate values of single or multiple cells and second is type of functions so there is many type of functions available in excel some of i have explained here so first is string type of function second is date time third is mathematics fourth is logical and fifth is aggregate functions so in this session i am going to tell you about the string functions those are commonly used in our real life so let's start yeah there is uh, i am going to explain some important for string functions which are commonly used in our real life so first is the length function we have excel sheet and we have some dummy data on it so we have five columns first is bundle id second is prop code third one is complexity then provider and then amount so if you want to calculate the length of bundle id so we need to put the length form in the length function we simply write the length len then put the text by which we want to get the length and simply we can see its length is 8 we can count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. so it's 8 and by which we can simply calculate the length of any string string value or any any value by which we want to get the length and second is second formula is left basically the left formula is used to calculate the uh, calculate the values from the left side it's a very simple formula and most it's a very important formula and used many many times we want only five characters from the left side so we need to put the left and then the cell value and then put the length and close parenthesis and we can see last character has been terminated from here so we can see that it's uh, uh, pick the uh, it's picking the value from the left side and character length would be 5 so it's the left and next one is the right so right right is very simple like left uh, it will calculate the values from the right side basically left is used to calculate the values from left side and right will pick the values from the right side so sim as left we put the right and then the put sec then we need to put cell value and then the length what values we want to get we want only 5 so first character would be terminated from here we can see in our output yeah so first value has been terminated so this formula is for length and this formula is for left and next one is for right next is the mid mid is also very important formula and we always use this formula basically in in the mid formula we need we need to first put the text value by by which we want to get the by which we we want to get the values then then we need to specify the starting value by which we want to get uh, get the result like in this bundle id we don't want to 6 so we want to start from second and then we need to put the length what length we want to get we want only three characters so put 3 and you can see it uh, it's going to pick from second and take only three characters so it's 300 it's very simple as left right and next is very important formula and which is upper basically upper formula i'll explain after lower first we need to calculate the lower so this is for lower we want to lower cases 
in bundle id you know uh, we have like i o d so we want we don't want in capital letter we want in uh, small letters so we need to put the lower and simply set the cell value and then close the parenthesis and you can see i has been converted to lowercase and next we need to put the uppercase in uppercase we need to put the upper and in lower we have small letters so we want to get the uppercase from lower close the parenthesis and close it and we can simply down here so we can see the we can see here i has been converted to capital letter next formula is concatenate so we need to put concatenate concatenate we want to ca uh, can uh, concatenate two or more than two cells value in a single cell so we need to put the concatenate concatenate function like we want to merge bundle id with provider so first we need to put the text one then put the comma and then put the text two value if we want to add the amount also we need to put the comma and text three value it's depend on you what you want to can can concatenate with each other yeah that's it next one is very important formula is trim basically trim function is used to uh, terminate the blank values from right and left side like you know we have uh, go to c2 and i need to put the tech i need to put the tech and then some blank spaces also and put the blank spaces from the left uh, sorry right side and we used to trim function and you can see blank space has been terminated how you can do that by using length we need to calculate the length is 11 and here we want to get the length of this it's 4 so blank space has been terminated over here so trim function is very important when you are going to put the vlookups or uh, going to put the pivot table so this is very important first you need to terminate the blank spaces from the cell and then put the vlookup or pivot table and next formula is next formula is replace so what is replace formula replace we need to put the old character first we need we need to put the old text by which we want to uh, put the uh, formula then the starting value then we can see starting value should be one or it's depend on you what you want to do we want to starting two characters will be replaced by x so comma is missing so we can see here starting two characters has been terminated by x so replace formula is also very simple formula and we can use is according to our requirement and next formula is find find is also very good formula and it's a very simple we need to put the find and then the string what you want to find in this we want to find i what the start uh, over the character then we need to put the cell value then put the comma starting we it's a uh, you know optional parameter if you want to put the value you can put if you want to skip you can skip we want to search from first value so we can count it's in sixth position 
i is in sixth position so it will re return the sixth and if we put the six sorry if we put the seven from here we are not going to get any result because there is only six characters and uh, last characters uh, last character is in sixth position and we want to search on that and we have mentioned it will start searching from seventh yeah so we we are not going to get any result so this is the find formula and find is a case sensitive formula so if we put the find and then we need to put the values what you want to what you want to get basically uh, it's a mistake here is we have o we have put the small o not caps so, and uh, then we put the cell value and then put the comma and start from first it also not going to get any result because it's a case sensitive okay so Except using find, I will recommend to use search. Search is very important and it's not case sense too. It's very similar to find and like you want to get i and then we need to put the cell value and we can see we are getting 6. So it's not case sense too. The only difference between find and search, search is not case sense too and find is case sense too. So these are the some important formula which can be used uh, in our real life I have explained here and um, in my next session I will explain about the date time function and rest of them. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for many more. Yeah, thank you so much.